because as the fall time comes, contractors and whatnot <coughs> buy the mulch hay from us. And I already talked about the budgets. Um, I don't really have anything. How would we do on Campfire Wood? Are we all done with that? Are we still in the middle of it? Or where are we on We're, Campfire Wood? I've sold. I did up uh, yesterday. I was tracking that. We've um, sold about 5,000 bags right now. And we probably have about 3,000 left in the, give or take, uh, on both of those numbers. But about 3,000 left in the barn. And generally, um, September, but by like end of August or September, they'll take some more. So, And, and I have talked to the, the manager, and he said... Guarantee he will take all 8,000 that will be out of our barn, and if he has to sit on them for the winter, he'll sit on them, but he'll make sure that we're paid Good. for them. So I'm not too worried about that. In the future, do we have any increases in that area? They, they contracted or, or said they could use 5,000 bags right, this um, year? Last year was 5,000. This year is 8,000. 8,000. Uh, we did comment. He did make a comment that uh, probably next year we'll look at increasing it to ten to twelve thousand, somewhere in that vicinity. We haven't, um, you know, worked that out exactly yet. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think it's for him. It's he doesn't really know till the spring. It's hard for us because we're trying to do budgets and and see what we're going to do yeah. this fall, and he can't make the commitment till the spring. But um, you know, it is slowly increasing. Mm -hmm. Is what is what his plan was? Is what he told me. And where do we stand on bringing in log length? I brought in um, five loads. The loads went up uh, a little bit this year um, compared to, to the last time we bought wood. So I brought in five loads, which has spent approximately half of our, of our line item. Um, we could buy five more loads. Um, for one, I had to, haven't bought those yet because I don't have room on the landing. I'm going to cut some wood here, and then, then they're going to bring them in. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm hoping that... Uh, Wendy's able to to really get this less cut and this another cut going so we don't have to buy buy some but in the meantime I don't want to be stuck without wood so I'm trying to be prepared for what we what we have okay any questions from anybody it, you said the cost of wood has gone up yes do you think that's a consequence of the uh, paper mills or paper mill reopening up in Berlin I that would be a good question for Wendy probably I'm not hundred percent sure I know that the, the person we've been buying it from, they base their price on pulp prices. So whatever pulp uh, is going for is what they base their, their firewood sales on too. So, and, and that went up. So it, it's it's possible. I, I, I'm so just not 100%. Did you say it went up $100 a load? $200 a load. $200 a load. Yeah. And a load is lemon cord? Yeah, when we cut, they say that they do it by oh. weight and we do it by how many cords? Right. So they say like twelve, but when I actually work it up, it's around ten and a half to eleven. So really, <laughs> goes into <laughs> the bet that I have with Mr. Albee, and that is when you cut it up into smaller pieces, you get less cords of wood than the than weight. Than weight, but then less cords than if it's in log length. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. Don't get in the middle of that. I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm okay. Not. You had your question, Mr. Uh, Bansky. Yeah. Um, can you refresh my memory? What happened to uh, uh, Will's request for an appropriation for the pole barn? We uh, gave it to him, didn't they, we? No. They approved the poles. <laughs> they approved a portion of it, not yeah. all of it. I, I originally asked for $10,000 to finish the pole barn. Um, Representative McConkey made a motion to cut that in half and only give us 5000 and that's what was uh, agreed upon by the rest of the delegation, and we got only 5000 And what's the status now of that pole barn? The, the status is it hasn't really fully gotten developed because we've been so busy with other things. My goal is I'm kind of concerned because of helping out, you know, the things that are going on in the complex that we're not going to have time to get it all completed this year. Mm -hmm. But I do want to get it started. I want to get the concrete work in. I'd like to get it framed in this fall if possible. And then maybe throughout the winter or next spring, mm -hmm. we can finish all the boarding up and be ready to go. Um, I'm, I was hoping to have 100% done by time snow fly this year. Mm -hmm. But I think that's going to get delayed a little bit just because of everything yeah. that's been going on. We've got all the rafters and we've got all the sheet metal. Yes. Yep, we've got all the rafters. We've got all the roofing. 
Um, what we need to get done is the con concrete work. We got the we already have the cinder or the uh, sauna tubes. Yeah. We need to get those put in. Get someone to come in with a concrete truck to fill them. Um, I need to cut the wood, got to cut the logs, and have someone come in and mill them out. That's another thing. With the hot weather, they say with the pine, you don't want to leave it sitting long lake, uh, log length for too long because the bugs will get into it this time yeah. of the year. So um, I don't want to cut it too far in advance until we have someone lined up for cutting the lumber. Okay. Does that answer your question, Mr. Babson? Yes, thank you very much. Anybody else got any input or questions? Thank you, Will. Thank you. Stephen Murray, Attorney Murray. You seem to be on our agenda here frequently. Uh. I thought I was wrapped up, and uh, yeah. I spoke with Lori, and she said that you had wanted me on the agenda, or maybe there was a cross in communications. But uh, we got the check, as I mentioned last week, yeah. from uh, Stewart Title. Yeah. So we collected our fifty-nine thousand plus dollars. Yeah. And uh, as we discussed last week, our cost of collection, other than my time, and yeah. uh, was only two hundred and ninety dollars. So we did pretty well on collecting an old bill, I guess. Is, okay. Uh, okay. I it was a mistake then that uh, or miscommunication. Oh, okay. That uh, she put you on the agenda today. Well, I learned a lot about the farm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bass. What was it, what was the collection for? Oh, uh, it was just. Uh, Bill at the nursing home that had been secured by a real uh, a, a lien on real property that we were able to collect when the property sold. So we got we got the check. We discharged the mortgage. We uh, and we only had to pay we had to pay less than three hundred dollars in costs. As I said, other than my time, which I tend to think is very valuable. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. We'll tell the delegation that maybe they can get you some more money. Thanks. <laughs> Anything else? Anything else? No. Uh, wait, uh, question now. Where does that money? Where does that money go? I don't know. I put. The, uh, we sent it over to the nursing home. It was a receivable for the nursing home. Okay. I was told by Lisa Howard that the check should be made payable to Mountain View Nursing Home. Okay. And okay. I mean, it was Mountain View's um, services that were provided. To okay. The, it doesn't go into the general kitty for the county. Then. I wish. <laughs> okay. Well, it would. I mean, it goes into other revenue of the yeah. nursing homes. Yeah, ultimately. yeah, but it's an enterprise budget, so it stays separate. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank Steve. You. Sorry. Uh, oh, that's okay. We got you in here, but hopefully more people learn about the farm. Well, the uh, the blueberries, I, uh, I, I probably should have picked some up when they were for sale. I, they always, the berries in this county always run out faster than you anticipate. You're right. I still have a few at home. Now I'm stuck with uh, the stuff from California. So. There you go. Okay, uh, Sandy. This is the original. This is a copy of the I'm glad to see that uh, my blueberry project has been is paying off, as I said it would. Uh, it just takes uh, three or four years before they would really come into production, and I'm glad to hear that uh, <coughs> it's a positive note uh, as far as revenue coming in. I Go feel ahead. the same way about the nursing home. Good. Um, the census is 103 today. Uh, we have nine Medicare residents, 19 private pay residents, and the difference is, is that those Medicare uh, Medicaid pending residents became... Medicaid, so we have see a we see a shift here. Uh, we have more Medicare residents, um, nine, nineteen private pay, and seventy-five Medicaid. What well, is it that much of a fluctuation? I think last week we had twenty-six oh, or twenty-seven private No, it's because it was pay? it was because the Medicaid pending were still in the private pay number. Okay. Okay, but we received notification that they re they've received Medicaid. So okay. That's why the. I think what we discussed, uh, we discussed pretty much um, a lot of the activity for the, the new building. Um, Adam Riley and Dave Seneca will be present for the sign-offs on Thursday. Hopefully that goes well. Um, the equipment is going to be uh, arriving, furniture and equipment, next week, starting with Monday, 7 a.m., two tractor-trailer um, 
trailers are going to be filled with beds and mattresses which need to be unloaded, uncreated, and set up. Um, I've been talking to um, Barb Murray regarding the delegation meeting. Um, I think the plan, if this is if this is acceptable to the commissioners, is that I will I will be attending for the review of my budget or the nursing home budget. That I will come go down and relieve Bob, and Bob will come up for the the discussion regarding the old nursing home. Okay. Because he, you know yep. we would be giving the same information. He's certainly been more involved than I have in the yep. square footage. So yep. is, if, if that's okay, that's the plan for that. And then the Jurens furniture and the executive um, executive furniture furnishings um, will be uh, delivered and uh, installation will follow and that's starting on Wednesday and that that's slated for a couple of days it's it's amazing but you know for the you know, and then that's not including our furniture that will be moved over so when I say the Jurens furniture that's the furniture such as um, um, bedside tables a bureau uh, for the the, um, the new nursing home for the resident rooms. Um, executive furniture has, um, they have some, uh, a few desks, what have you, most of our desks are being moved over, but there will be a few um, office um, pieces that will be coming over, as well as um, multi-purpose room furniture and furniture and, and the household. So that's what next week um, is involving as far as um, the movement of equipment. Um, in concert with that, the nurse um, call system is being set up. Um, the uh, the secure care system for the doors um, is being um, set up. Um, the tubs, um, germs, um, tubs in the four um, spas are, are being um, set up on Monday, which we follow by staff education, which started this week, uh, starts today, having to do with fire safety and emergency preparedness. And next week, uh, all staff need to be educated on the phone system, the nurse call system, the hoist, the tubs, those kinds of things. Again, we have to show the state that everyone has been educated prior to the, the move. Uh, letters of um, notification will go out to all vendors by the end of the week, so they'll have some time to understand that our address will be changing. Um, and that includes the issues of you know, Medicare, Medicaid, all of those all the important um, to, for um, the survival of the nursing home. I have attached um, a map which we will be using um, for um, a map that we'll be using for education. Did you not get one? Um, a map that we'll be utilizing uh, for education uh, for visitors of our nursing home to clearly understand where the, the new neighborhoods are, what the room numbers are, um, and hopefully will be a better tool for, for everyone when, um, when they come in. So just so you, you're able to see it. Um, At what point in time are we going to name these households? They've been named. Yeah. Green Mountain neighborhood. Mount Shore. Mount Shore. Green Mountain. Okay. Okay. So I, think I keep hearing at the subcommittee meetings East Wing and West Wing, and we ought to start naming them at the subcommittee meeting so well, that they understand. For those of us, well, uh, as far as the construction group, it will always be East and West, but um, we're, we're, we're beginning to. Whittier and Chicago. Okay, that's a <coughs> Okay. So that's where we are with that, but I think. So again, it's, there's a lot of activity um, from policies and procedures. The, the rules for nursing homes were. Um, they were revised by the, um, the state um, in January. They came out the end of January, I think January 26th. So again, we have to go through all of our policies and procedures to make sure that they're completely updated and what have you. So it, there's an administrative component, component as well as the construction and, and the furniture component. But I think we're all... Is there a map going in there in the lobby somewhere? Map oh. of the facility? There will be um, there will be areas for um, emergency preparedness and how to exit and what have you. Mm -hmm. and those have been ordered with our signage, but these will be available for people when they first come in. But would there be anything on the wall in the lobby as people come in? I'm sure they have to check with the receptionist, but wouldn't it be helpful to have a map of the facility? somewhere on the wall in the lobby? We can look at it. The, the problem if you walk into the lobby is there's not a lot of wall, wall space. space. Yeah, I know. Um, but we'll, we'll look at it and, and certainly that's a good point. And yeah. if not, we'll have them available um, one way or another because we will have people um, out there in the beginning to um, 
to guide people yeah. to different things. Because I know Commissioner Solomon gets lost every time she goes <laughs> in the building. I think it'll be e much easier.